everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a Dutch pour, but I'm using the Bloom recipe today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using all primary elements. Let's go over my colors. The first one is Hot Cinnamon. The second color is a new color I got called Moss Green. And let me show you that color. Very pretty. Again, these are the primary elements. The next one is called Autumn Leaf. Again, a new color, very pretty. The next color is called Lemon Drop. And the last color is a combination of the Orange Peel and Mango Mamba. I combined those two colors together. Those are the colors. My um, pillow paint is the Color Place Interior Satin uh, House Paint. And my uh, topper today is going to be the Amsterdam uh, Titanium White and uh, Floetrol. And that mixture is uh, one ounce of Floetrol to one teaspoon of paint. My pouring medium for my um, primary elements is one tablespoon of Vivid Enamel, one tablespoon of triple thick polyurethane, and I did use the Josana gloss varnish to thin it out a little bit because I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. So I've already put down my a light layer of my um, house paint, and I'm just going to lay my paints down now. And I haven't, I have not done a lot of blooms. So we'll just see how this goes. That moss green, very pretty color. So I did not thin anything with water today. For my topper, no, I did not thin anything for my topper, but I did want to mention that with my house paint, I did add a little bit of GAC 800 because I'm always um, afraid that, that the house paint may crack. So I, I, I just add a little bit of the, the GAC 800 with that. Just kind of as an insurance. You can see I'm kind of going here for the fall theme colors. I think I will add a little bit more of this autumn leaf here. And the yellow. And I really like this orange, so let's let's give it a little more of this orange too. Okay. And I have my topper ready here. And I hope everybody's having a good day today. Middle of the week. Okay, we'll start out with that much topper. And now I'm just going to lay a little bit of this house paint along the edges here to just to help the paint move.
and I will add a little more here. And I did put my um, canvas on my cake turner today. I don't think I will use it, but I just thought it would be easier to uh, work with this canvas here today if it were on the cake turner. And I could end up spinning it, who knows. Just depends on what we get. Okay. I think in a few areas, I will add a little bit more of my topper here, just to make sure I have enough. Okay, so I will start blowing it out now. I will start on low with my blow dryer on cool. Looks like I'm going to have to turn it up to high. I will get out my air compressor and just see what I can do. Well, I'll let it sit here a minute and let's see what comes up. I do have some lacing coming up in here and here. Very pretty. I really do like the, the cinnamon in there, the hot cinnamon, that red. Very pretty so far. I'm going to just hit it very lightly with my torch. You have to be careful with house paint. You don't get too close because you can scorch your paint. Just some very beautiful areas in here. Okay, let's see what I can do with my air compressor.
If you know me, I do like wispies. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more of that cinnamon in here. And maybe a few other colors. And just blow that out a little bit. I think I will blow it that way. on a different area while that is settling in. Okay, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, there don't, I don't really think there's anything else I want to do to it. I just think it turned out beautiful. And I'll give another little torch here. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I've done a Dutch pour on using the color elements. 
and you can just see how these colors all played together so well here. I did leave a lot of uh, empty space, but that's okay. This is the lower left-hand corner here. Just beautiful. You can just see the shimmer of that moss green and the cinnamon there. Like I said, I do like wispies, so I, I did put some in there. And I'll bring you up the middle. This is where I added some of the cinnamon, the hot cinnamon to that. This is the upper right-hand corner. Probably one of my favorite spots right in here. See all the lacing, it's just beautiful. A lot of negative space, like I said, but that's okay. Okay, so let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.